So this one's kind of sold out. I'm sorry, guys. This is sold out, but she does have other colors. Um, she has one, another one, Oxblood. It has It's like a more of like a reddish and um, brownish kind of color. I think it's so timeless. I just got this one because I was influenced by my friend Annalise. She has the exact same one. And I love how she styled it. She's more, she has a more sophisticated um, style, like more notes of menswear. And um, I thought this bag would be great to add to my collection. Um, so I can kind of play around with like kind of her style and kind of incorporate into my own wardrobe. But yeah, you can wear it with like these, um, a goldie shorts, a white tank, and the skeet thong heel from Sam Edelman. And with this bag, kind of playing around kind of color blocking with neutrals. Um, I love this bag so much because you can kind of um, play around with the sizing um, or the length of the crossbody. You can just like easily just pull it like this. Super cute, super functional. So you can wear it as like a shoulder bag, you can sneak here, um, or a crossbody. I'm not really a crossbody kind of girl unless I'm trying to go for more like a sportier vibe. So if I want to look more like put together still, I would wear it as like a shoulder bag. Um, this one's made out of genuine, genuine natural leather, so it's not vegan leather like this dog bag, which I will talk about soon, but I believe the inside is made of linen. I kind of stained it already because I had some hand sanitizer in here and it kind of opened up, but you know, it's at least it's on the outside. So it's very roomy in here. Kind of reminds you of like those mini bag trends, but this is definitely like a lot bigger than that, I think. Not a lot bigger, but you know, maybe a little bit. You can still fit like your wallet, your necessities, your mask, your hand sanitizer, whatever. I mean, it definitely reminds me of the Bottega clutch bag, almost the same design, but Nicole Mark has her own like signature looks on it. Um, so I love how you can see the texture of the bag. It's not smooth. Like you can see like the ridges, the crinkles. Like I love that kind of adds into like the character of this dumpling bag. And it has like, that little leather strap and it has a like, gold, um, what's it called? Hardware. I really love that. I love that detail. I'm more of a gold person anyway, as you can see, I'm wearing a lot of gold here. So, um, yeah, I really love this a lot. You could definitely transition this to like a fall piece. I don't think I posted it. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I um, styled it on my Instagram yet. Um, I will definitely like style it soon and I'll post it for you guys. I've worn it without taking like pictures of it because you know, I'm just blood and life. So, but yeah, I will definitely, um, post on my Instagram and Veritop and how I style this, um, soon. But yeah, Love that piece. It's super versatile. It has like a level of like, of like sophistication. And also you can still wear like a sportier kind of look. You can wear it with like leggings and, you know, your usual leggings and black top, whatever. You can kind of carry it like this, like a clutch bag. I think it kind of like allows that kind of look because it's like, like scrunched up. Kind of reminds me of like a lunch bag. Um, but yeah, you can definitely wear it like that. That's what I love about that piece. But I do want to talk about this um, Stodd bag, this gorgeous Luna bag. Let me um put it let me present it to you guys 